Medication can be expensive, so what about generics? Jeremy Baker looks into your options in tonight's Wear the Gown. Patients are prescribed a medication. They may hear the brand name as well as the generic and get a little confused. Both brand and generic medications are held to the same standards for efficacy, safety, and quality. Daryl Hughes is an executive director with University Health Pharmacy Services. He says getting the generic can save a patient quite a bit of money. A branded product and company has costs associated with research, development, and marketing that a generic manufacturer doesn't have. Generic drug applicants must prove the active ingredient is the same as the brand name. The generic has the same dosage, strength, and route of administration. It's manufactured under the same standards. The label is the same as the brand name. And the generic is bioequivalent to the brand name drug. Noting the inactive ingredients or fillers is a must before you switch to any generic because of the chance of allergic reactions. It's good to consult with your healthcare provider or pharmacist to make sure that the generic product that you're switching to doesn't have that ingredient in it. But there are medications where you should stick with the brand name. One example is Synthroid, a medication for hypothyroidism. The American Thyroid Association warns patients not to switch to the generic because the margin for variation with this treatment is very small. Those are medications where effective dose is very near the toxic dose. And so those are situations where you'd want to work with your healthcare provider, your provider, and your pharmacist to make sure that uh, you're making a transition from brand to generic, but it's being monitored. Hughes also says patients with questions should talk to their doctor or pharmacist about generics because most are safe, effective, and affordable. Jeremy Baker, Ken's Fox.